Um, excuse me. I love Katya's mustache, very outlandish and different. <laughs> a, you're full of shit, and B, thank you. That's not her mustache. She can't help that her eyebrow grows down that far, okay? My makeup is unclockable. I try not to read the comments, and it takes that one nasty one. You know who you are, you nasty one, fucker. This video specifically is for you, nasty. Oh, I love a good old internet thug or keyboard thug. You have a picture of a cat. You've made some life choices, haven't you? Oh, this one doesn't even have a picture. See, now I have to tell you, a mean thing to do is to get on social media without a picture. At least put a fake one up like I do on Grindr. Painful. You know what's painful? Your fucking face. Because you actually do have a picture. And you shouldn't. This one comes from Summer Diamond is. Okay, what are you, Summer Diamond? She, apparently she is. I swear, detox is unbearable. That's why I keep getting booked. Pay me thousands of dollars, I'll go away, fucking bitch. That square booty padding. Rue was right to let her go. My cuckoo is beautiful, it's like a heart. It's surrounded by love and it's surrounded by illegal materials, but I don't care because it, it looks good. Did you run out of wig glue? Because I could fit my foot under there. I did not run out of wig glue, but I bet I could put my foot up your ass. It's not a potato cuckoo at all. It's so beautiful and you know, mm, you look good on the picture. You know what, I forgive your nasty comment and call me anytime and contact me on social media. I can send you like sexy, nude, real pics of my Coco. Why Coco look like Whitney Houston's mama? Well, I think uh, Whitney Houston's mama's not, not bad looking. Hell, she's still alive. Wrong decision, Mama Ru. What you mean wrong decision? Why don't you go ask Mama Ru why she decided? I'll tell you one wrong decision your mom made. Ew, 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 no. You smell your top lip. The first comment comes from Fifty Shades of KJ. I don't know why, I just can't get behind Delta. I don't know what it is that puts me off of her. You know what, you probably shouldn't get behind me because I have the most torrential gas. You have no idea. You're, it's better for you to get in front of me. Jiggly girl, you look like a piñata. You can eat a bag of dicks. I dare you to come hit me with a stick. Candy ain't gonna come out. Detox girl, please, as a fan, I'm telling you to burn that wig or donate it to a baby drag queen. You have harsh features, so that color and cut make you look 60. Is she talking about this one? Laugh out loud. I was rocking with her until she waved her clubbed thumb in front of the single. I don't know if you're aware, but um, I have a dick. And that comes with having larger hands. So I can't help that I have the big thumbs. You should see my big toe though, trust. Dan K meme says, where are y'all's nails? Oh, how about this? Ready for a tirade? You came to the wrong but hold on. game, Dan. Hold on, you okay. have a visible wig strap. <laughs> Here's two people who do drag professionally. Raise your hand. Here's someone who does it. Hello, Dan. I see your hand in the air, okay? We don't have nails because we're in day drag trying to be funny for you. And here's another thing. It is misogynistic inherently to a degree to insist that a drag queen must represent a certain picture of womanhood for no apparent reason. Do women wear long acrylic nails? Yes, some of them do, but not the kind that I'm modeling my drag after. Besides, does wearing nails make you a good drag queen? Of course not. You can't live up to your own impossible standards, ladies. Take that to the bank and sell it. I have it. more makeup on at any given time than you will have on, Dan, in your whole life. Yeah, would I make up for a lack of nails I make up for more than, more than abundantly in a, a plethora of hemorrhoids? Hashtag adore wannabe, LOL. I love adore though. I love a door too, and I would love to make as much money. So I am right there with you. Party. And I hate that the show is setting her up to win. <laughs> Surprise! They didn't. Coco kind of looks like a hooker version of Rosa Parks. <laughs> Why you gotta bring Rosa Parks into this? All she wanted to do was ride the bus. That's shady. The exact same $5.99 wig since week one. That's talent. Uh, they were not $5.99. Each of the ponytails that I used was $3.99, so suck on that. Mrs. Kasha Davis, fuck me. Oh, 
Oh, that can be arranged. I mean, Mr. Davis does go in and out of town on occasion, and sometimes I get lonely. This bitch is so orange, we can finally give, forgive Coco Montries for her Dorito face of season five. I ain't got nothing to say. I was orange, shit. Fuck, I did look like Tang. It's all right. Am I the only one who thinks detox without makeup looks like Marilyn Manson without makeup? No. I always get that at the airport, that I'm Marilyn Manson and whatever. I can suck my own dick too. They let her on Drag Race, so she'd stop sending in the audition tapes. That's right, stupid. You don't get anywhere in life unless you're a pain in the ass. I mean, nobody's gonna sit there and call you. I mean, who's calling you, especially with that picture and blouse? She will be in my nightmares tonight. I hope so. Is this bitch eating rocks? What the fuck happened to her teeth? I can't with her. Check your lipstick before you come for me, because these are done, boo. Now. Maybe not a couple years ago. But now, they're done. Anytime I get irritated at Tracy for talking over Katya so much, I remember that Katya would just wander off talking about toads or something. It is true that I interrupt you too much. When I watch, I'm like, shut up, you're not important, because I talk so much. But you talk fast, but you don't, there's, not, there's no hollowness to your speech. No. There are words that have and If I on. didn't sweep in and reel this motherfucker in, That's you know true. what we'd be stuck talking about? We'd be rambling about contact and race relations in America all, all the time. You guys, this show is literally just me trying to curb the conversation away from the movie contact. And race relations in America. It's kind of my show, baby. I'm at the I'm in Cincinnati three to four times a week at the cabaret, calling my performance and saying, oh bitch, that was horrible. Now if I punch you in the throat, don't call the police. Gaga's little monster says buy art pop on iTunes. I have an Android, I can't. Nasty commentators. Bye, Felicia. Adios, Felicia. Fuck you. <laughs> Find some better shit to say about me, then I'll come back and do another one of these videos. Fuck you guys, I'm out of here. Wasting my time again! And don't forget to subscribe to Wow Presents. Right there, or right wherever. Leave a nice comment. Like, Jiggly, your teeth look real pretty now. <laughs>